Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm here to give my review on Uncanny X-Men 525, Chapter 10 of Second Coming, as well as uh, Revelations Hellbound, Issue 2 of that miniseries. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Uncanny X-Men. Now, this one I'm kind of disappointed in. There's not, I mean, there's action in this, but there's not much that really happens in here. Uh, we, we start off basically with Hope telling uh, Cyclops, she doesn't actually just say fuck you, but she just says that in a way where she won't listen to anything he says. And he's stuck lamenting over that. But he does get a little bit of a compliment on how he's handling things from Charles Xavier, which I thought was cool. Uh, last we left off our heroes, the Avengers uh, showed up on the outside of the barrier that has showed up over uh, San Francisco to try and break through. But with the combined efforts of Iron Man's repulsive rays, Thor's hammer, and the Thing's uh, fists, because the Fantastic Four also showed up, they're unable to break the barrier. Compounding the danger on this is the fact that they're still handling all these Nimrods. Now, the the X Club that went off into the future with Cable and uh, most of the members of X Force have to. Uh, deal with a feature which has completely wiped out all mutants. You know, this is a scenario we've seen before, but it's still a good one. Uh, the way they're working is that they're sending five of these Nimrods through one at a time. Whoever this uh, this master Nimrod is, is that is sending them through. Uh, we have a really cool fight scene on the bridge with a lot of the X-Men, and particularly uh, Phantom X, because they actually throw out a Watchmen reference and you had to have seen the movie or read the book to know what it is, but it's uh, really cool amidst all that. Um, and we kind of get that uh, the sense the Cable has accepted that this is a suicide mission. He's known for quite some time that he may eventually die facing the girl, and I don't know if this is going to happen or not in the upcoming issues, but uh, I'm actually cool with a guy for making peace for that fact. Uh, he knows absolutely what he has to do to protect the child and all that, and uh, I think that's really cool. Um, but it, it does kind of lag in some areas to me. I think there was a little too much dialogue in between uh, Scott and Charles Xavier over how he's able to handle the leadership, but aside from that, this is still a kick-ass issue, and I recommend that you pick it up, but go back and read the... Uh, the issues before it, like I said, because you ain't going to get the whole story without it. Now, Hellbound, the second issue of the miniseries, uh, on the cover, this is Gambit. Uh, and for those of you who uh, read the first issue, Gambit kind of slipped out of the shadows of Limbo while the team was down there, and he's shown back up as Death. I'm not exactly sure how he was possessed by this. I know this was a... I'm not exactly sure if it was a form that he assumed a long time ago or what. But uh, this image and what, what he does to the characters in there looks really cool. Uh, there's a scene in there where he's confronted by all these demons after he's been taken over and he just goes and kills one and says, uh, only the weak will fall in limbo and it takes the strong in order to survive. Anybody else... Uh, object to that, and all the demons start wind up following him after that, and he also has the power to corrupt anything or anybody he touches, so he winds up getting a few of the X-Men that accompanied him along to search for magic under his influence, and that kind of really throws a monkey wrench with uh, what uh, what the X-Men down there are facing. Um, we also have kind of a Faustian bargain that struck at the end of this in between Magic and uh, the Sodorath, the one of the demon lords in Limbo, and uh, it's a really kick-ass issue. Uh, I know most tie-ins usually suck in big events, but this one is actually worth checking out. Uh, it's actually looking to be much better than what X and Furnace was a couple years ago, so definitely go and pick this up. Uh, and that's pretty much it for right now. I'll be back next week to review Chapter 11 of Second Coming. So until then, take it easy, guys.